Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, and I'm reading the headlines again. I see the Pope has made a statement about the ISIS attacks in Paris. He said that using God's name to justify violence is sacrilege. If this is disturbing, if the head of the Catholic Church thinks that Allah is the God of the Bible, then the Pope is clearly ignorant of both Islam and the God of the Bible. And I don't care who it is. Any Christian leader who cannot distinguish between Satan and God has no business getting a paycheck. In Galatians 1.9, God declares Islam to be a cursed religion. When is the Catholic Church going to learn its lesson about dancing with the devil? You know, that pedophile priest scandal came about specifically because the Catholic Church failed to obey the clear commands of Scripture. Don't make the same mistake with Islam. It won't just be the little boys this time. And I see uh, Barack Obama is looking pretty foolish right now. Just this week, he arrogantly boasted that ISIS was contained. And then ISIS hit Paris, demonstrating that Obama was just tooting his own horn once again. And here's a picture of Obama talking face-to-face -face with Putin. I can't tell if Obama's crying, but <laughs> it's a logical assumption. And right under that is a story about how the Democrats, in spite of the Paris attack, are planning to double the number of Syrian refugees that they are going to unleash on the USA. Oh, yeah. The modern Democrat Party is more than willing to bring jihad to the USA if it'll get them a few more Democrat voters. But you know one thing they're overlooking? These Islamic blood-drunk monsters like their victims unarmed. And in the USA, it is Democrat cities where citizens have been denied their rights or have been so emasculated that they're just not capable. You know, if you liberal Democrat fruitcakes think that these Islamists are going to go hit the American patriots up in Idaho, <laughs> you are suicidally stupid. I think we need a new term. Stupicide. Death by Democrat. Apparently, the flaming liberals have not considered the possibility that ISIS could do one of their slaughters at something like the Academy Awards. <laughs> Just think, all those Hollywood puff jobs, Sean Penn, Quentin Tarantino, Spike Lee, the biggest gathering of the most flaming America-hating liberals ever. <laughs> Hey, ISIS, please, please, please don't hit the Academy Awards. America would never be the same. <laughs> I doubt that'll work, but it was worth a shot. On a positive note, I see Donald Trump is still flying high. Now, he is the man most likely to unleash the full force of the U.S. military to put an end to the jihadists that have been built up by the Obama administration. And Trump is the man most likely to turn law enforcement authorities loose with full authority to investigate Eric Holder, Hillary, and the entire Obama crime family. Wouldn't you love to see a total house cleaning in Washington, D.C. with corruption trials and prison sentences for every member of the Congress or Senate who has sold this nation out over the last 20 years? <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a new wing built onto the Guantanamo prison specifically for American politicians. Yeah, we could start a new tourism business, kind of like Jurassic Park, but the signs would all say, please don't feed the rhinos. I had some good news yesterday. Pastor Cochise of Daytona Set Free Church joined the Black Robe Regiment, and I will be working with him to help organize Black Robe Regiment activities in Florida. No more will Christian pulpits be silenced by the IRS, the ACLU, or any other God-hating, America-hating mongrels. Christian America, find the nearest Black Robe Regiment and give them your full support. Black Robe Regiment Church, that is. It's good medicine for America. And it scares the daylights out of the IRS. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and America, bless God again.